Welcome back, Team Tabletop. Today, we're going to be opening up the brand new Ancient Guardians Yu-Gi-Oh! trading card set. And I'm very excited for this one because I wasn't too sure we are going to be getting this. And I'm very excited to say that we got it a little bit earlier than usual, which is a very nice change. The first one we've gotten in a very long time. And it's so early, in fact, that I actually have no idea what's going on. There's no more listings online. I don't think I don't even think the card lists. They've all been spoiled today. They've all been spoiled like in the last couple of days anyway. So it's no more surprises what's inside it. But the official Konami list and everything, I don't think has it up just yet. I'm assuming it's going to be up in a few hours or in the next day or so. But yeah, what exactly are we going to get for the Ancient Guardians? So there's some like, uh, what was it? Pendulum summoning mechanics going on with, with the Luster Dragons, I believe. There's also a couple more of the big waifus over there. Giant snake. Because, you know, snakes rain. That's how we say it over here in Ireland. Uh, snakes. Mm. You're all snake eyes. There you go. We've got a couple to open for you guys today. Let's see if we can grab ourselves a nice prismatic rare. Or whatever it is that's inside the set. I'm going to be... Very happy about this because I can always share with you guys all the new stuff that we get inside Europe. And for the first time in a long time, we got it early. I'm so happy about that. So if you guys are all new to the channel... Ooh! Ayers Rock Sunrise. Okay. So they're all rare cards. Shore Format. An Ogdaftigo Calling. A Pot of Riches. Okay. We got ourselves a Mistafalosius Elcha. A Snow Rain. Snake Rain. No, a Snake Rain. It's raining snakes. Get me off this plane. All right. And an Ogdata Water Lily, which is going to be super. Jesus. Okay, so everything's a rare, and the super's at the back, or higher. All right. We got a... Oh, man, that's a really hard one to read from here. Venominion, the King of Possessive Snakes. Ogdata Hollow. Wavering Eyes. Ogdata Origin. Okay, got like a little bit of a... Blink, no, ink blots over there. Zora, the Orchid of Boundless, which your dragon who needs a giant sword for some strange reason. And here's something that we can all get along with. A bunch of waifus making music with emojis. A self Octa Chord, formal, and we get a Karuz, the Algatil Light, as our rare. There you go. Come on, just want one of these. The best waifu, come on. If you guys are new to the channel, you're very welcome. This is Tabletop. I'm your host, Trent. Uh, if you guys haven't already, please be sure to give it a big like because we do... We're, we're able to get these things a little bit early now, hopefully, as the time goes on. The, this is going to be a constant thing. We've got a trade-in. Ursodactic Megantanius. Ayers Rock Sunrise. Satanic Megapolar. Oh my god, it's a giant robot. With a giant hammer, okay. Luster Pendulum, the Dragon Toss Lair. Okay, and... We get a Sulfur Chord Harmonia. Harmonia? I think that's how I pronounce it. Look at that. Man, I gotta make a deck of this. I actually gotta play this inside a Dueling Nexus later. If you guys wanna see me play some Dueling Nexus, please be sure to subscribe because we are gonna be doing a couple more gameplay videos in the upcoming weeks. And I'm so sorry for the last couple of weeks. It's been very hectic around here, but things are starting to get back to normal. And we're gonna be able to do daily content again. Well, we'll see. Wavering Eyes. And there's Zoa. Offering of the day is the snake deity. Octa Hollow, and deity opposing the snakes, and Octa Origin again, and Arsatakit Slider. All right. So it's kind of like brass knuckles that he's kind of riding upon. I mean, he's a giant robot. Why would you not just include like jetpacks with them? Who knows? Here we are. Got uh, Ignite Reload. Ignite their prominence, uh, Blasting Dracostar. A Skullmeister. Rise of the Snake Deity. King of the Feral Imps. Alright. King of the Feral Imps. Alright. Evil Dragon Antenna. Or Antenna. And Eurosoctic Milkabilis. Feral Imp. I remember him. Very old card. He has the horn of a unicorn. Okay. Ooh, that's spicy. Look at this. Flogos, the Boundless, Ursatactic Megabills, uh, too, too close to home. And then a Pot of Riches, Majestic Paladin, the Ascending Draco Star, a Light Serpent, Dino Wrestler, a Pancratops, and a Soul Sulfalcord Gracia. Oh, wow. Oh, man, it's beautiful. Look at that. 
Man, why can't we get these emojis inside some sort of video game? I swear. Everyone's going digital. Yu-Gi-Oh, please make your own little uh, Yu-Gi-Oh game. I know you guys are doing the console market, but come on. Online is where it's at. Another scale, a Skullmeister, a Zoa, a Viper's Revert, King of Feral Imps again, our Stacked Up Mega Bills, and Silver Court Harmonia. Oh boy, I love the Harmonia card. It looks great, but uh, can we get one Ultra Rare, please? All right. All right. A Musica, Silver Chord. Oh man, this is. So she's, like, she's playing the music like. And, like, when she's playing the music, the emojis come out. Because that's how music works. A paladin, alright. Looks a little bit like the Digimons, because of all the digital monsters. A Flogos, and then Ayers Rock Sunrise. Another Sulfur Court Formal, and... An Omega, the Deity of Poison and Snake, and... Sulfur Court Elegance. Oh, wow. Really is elegant. Look at that. Look at that. All in 4K goodness. Fucking phone, would you work? Crap. Or was I meant to swear? You know what? Who cares? It's my channel. I can do whatever I want. I can even take off my clothes if I wanted to. Which I won't. Because it's cold. A Calling. A Pot of Riches. Ignite Reload. A Daltia. Another Snake Rain. Probably from the plane. Skullmeister. Arsaconic Polar Bear. <laughs> Polier. Polari? I guess I pronounce it. Look at that. I'll give you a big freaking hug. There you go. Oh, this is an ultra rare. Jesus Christ, I didn't even see that. The camera is really awkward with that. Jesus. Yeah, that does look pretty good. It's the uh, Synchro 1. I think it's one of the first ones. To be a uh, number one monster there. Not too sure how that's going to play it. I got to read that later. I quite like things that are very cheap to play, because eventually there's probably going to be a way to manipulate them to uh, do other stuff. But I gotta investigate to that. Been so busy with the channel recently, or with the business, that it's just uh, very difficult to keep up. And by the way, if you guys want to buy any of these products, please be sure to check out our website at tabletop.ie. You'll be supporting the channel, you'll be supporting me, and you'll be supporting all the videos coming out. We've got a Flog and a Erskactic Mictanus. Alright, another bear. So, bear tribal, maybe? That's what we're getting. Right hand side is so far giving us only one ultra rare. Where are my secret rares at? Where are my secret rares at? Okay, I got a formal, a pot of riches, an evil dragon antenna, another trade in. Okay. Got ourselves a light serpent and. Karoos? The Ogdok to light. Okay being wrapped around with the spiders, he's like, yeah, I don't really give two flying fucks. You snakes can do whatever you want. Come on. Come on. One of the poster childs, please. Ayo's Rock. Quaint Charge. Ursacathic Megapolar. A Luster Pendulum, the Draco Slayer. There we are. Uh, Ignite Reload. And Alterate Ogret Dark. Okay, so only one Ultra on the right-hand side. Left-hand side... Let's see what you got. Let's see what you got. We got a Magister Paladin. A King of Poisonous Snakes. A Wavering Eyes. Ayers Rock Sunrise. Dino Wrestler. Another Pot of Riches. And a Slider. Yet again. We're getting our play sets, at the very least. Oh man, nothing beats fresh packs on a Saturday. Trade in, a prominence, a musica, a rise of the snake deity, a viper rebirth, lesser dragon, Draco Slayer, and a Mick Polar. Mick Polar. Oh dear. I wonder if I will get a Mick Jagger. Mick Solar? Who knows? A power deity. Look at that. You see, is that an exoskeleton he's getting out of? I'm not too sure. Okay, another Mega Billis. Another trade in. Re Sulfur Core Dramia. And Ogdata Dark. Oh dear, are the rates meant to be a little bit worse than this box? Generally, you're meant to get like what, four ultras? So, prominence. Damage equals reptile. 
Venomega, the deity of poison and snakes. Rise of the snake deity. Got a skull meister. Got a sulfur cord scale. A teal sulfur cord beautia. As an ultra. Oh, wow. So she's got a tiny baby over there. Uh, is that part of her gimmick? She's a mom. I'm not too sure. There we go. Very beautiful foiling on these. Oh, wow. Second one. Okay. We got ourselves a Queen Charge, Offering to the Snake, a Luster Pendulum, Snake Rain. Got ourselves the Mighty Draco Slayer, the Damage Equals Reptile, and a Sulfur Gourd Hemonia. Oh, Jesus. Things are not looking very well, guys. We're, we're starting to get a little bit worried here. I also don't know why my phone keeps turning on and off. Man, I swear to God, if we ever get rich enough, buying a 6K camera, I don't care. Viper's Rebirt. As you guys can tell around the channel, I have been upping the amount of quality that we're doing. This is a brand new microphone that we got. I generally don't really like the microphones that's right next to my face. But this one is uh, pretty good in terms of the quality that it gives. So hopefully you guys can bear with it. Because it does give you a crisper sound, and it makes it a lot uh, it's more silent. The actual packs themselves, and sometimes it muffles up the sound and destroys everything. Trying something new now. Also got some brand new lights. I, I love them. Oh wow, they're, they're really great. You'll be seeing them a lot more in the upcoming weeks. Lifer's Report. A calling. Ignis Prominence. The Blasting Draco Star. Got a Grand Charietto. Grand Charietto. Oh, wow. Or Sakitic. Grand Chariot. It reminds me of Kill a Kill. And then your man, Wave, just has like, Grand Chariot, and he gets like a big giant armor. Is that a homage to this? It might be. You know, because those look kind of similar. I'm not sure if you guys uh, watch a lot of anime, but Kill a Kill is one of my favorite ones. Eh, it was really good at the start. The mangas are really good. Got a Snake Rain. An Origin. Dino Wrestler, okay. Got ourselves an Aletta, a Wavering Eyes, okay. The Mighty Draco Star, and Ursica the Poucher. All right, yeah, because one of my favorite arcs inside Kill a Kill was that they had the uh, they had Wild Hunt. Wild Hunt, I thought, was amazing. It was a great one. It was very dark, very, very dark. So many people died in it. But it was considered, I think it was either due to time constraints or it was just too dark for anime in general. So we never got animated. We got like a, your man, Shira or something, the son of the, uh, the man, the prime minister. Okay, wait, just like a Viper's Rebirth and a Remnant. Yeah, we got the son of the prime minister and he was about to have the wild hunt, but they never really got animated. You don't even, you don't even see them except they're in cloaks. You see them inside cloaks, inside the anime. They're only referenced like a couple of times, and then you never get mentioned again. We're, we're assumed they killed off screen. Like, it doesn't really do anything to the overall plotline, but it was one of my favorite arcs because it was so freaking dark. If you guys know what I'm talking about, you guys are the real MVPs over there. And that are elegance, okay. Two more packs, and we've only gotten freaking. We got no secret rares yet. We've gotten three fucking ultras. Okay. There has to be two here. A formal, a sulfur cord scale, ascending Draco star, mega polar, Pancraptus, a reload, got ourselves an Ursa tactic slider, and finally, our last pack of this particular box. What are we gonna get? What are we going to get? Ayers of Rock Sunrise, a light serpent, king of the feral imps. A damaged reptile, a trade in, evil dragon antenna. Come on, come on, come on, come on. No! No! So, we got a Algon Doic water lily, really? So, inside our booster pack or booster box, we only gotten three. Three of these. Three ultras. That's. Oh, wow. I need to lay down. Holy shit. That's not good. That's not good for my health. Right, guys, this sucks so much. But the show must go on. Trent is not known to be a quitter. In fact, many things in his life 
could be easily fixed if he just kind of stopped caring. But no, that's just how I am. That's how we is. This is how Tabletop is. If you guys appreciate me opening up these booster boxes, getting the crappy booster boxes out of circulation for y'all, please be sure to hit that like button. Because now, we're gonna go and finish this. Come on. We're gonna go a little bit faster inside this one because... A lot of the times... I feel like videos just kind of drag on a little bit. I just wanted to show you guys all the cool commons that we get inside this one. Snake Rain's one of my faves. A slider over there, because it kind of reminds me of a little bit of Indiana Jones. And the one where Samuel L. Jackson's like, What? I had it with all them freaking snakes on this flipping plane. Alright. Okay, damage equals reptile. I'm going to trade in. King of poisonous snakes. Grass gloves of scale. And a milk billis. Okay. Try one from the left-hand side this time. We got a nice little origin. A Pancatrops. A blasting Draco star. Wavering eyes. Got ourselves Rise of the Snake Deity. Illustrious Pendulum. And a piece of shit. I've had it with these mother freaking common freaking rares in my freaking booster packs. A Snake Rain, Master Paladin, a Musica, and a Gracia. No. Muchos gracias. No. No. I would say something in retort in Spanish, but I don't want to butcher the language. Plus, Dora only taught me so many words. So, Pankrup, a Feral Imp, a Snake Deity, Poisonous Snakes, another Viper's Rebirt, got another Formal. And a cutia! Actually, this one looks pretty good. Look at that. This is pure waifu material that will get you landed in gel. Okay, got ourselves a nice little skull master. A reload. Coin charge. Mega polar. A viper's revert. A snake deity. And Ogdoctor the dark. All right. Got ourselves a nice little hollow here. A Megatanius. A calling. A Letia. A nice little reptile. Okay, the mighty Draco Slayer and a slider. Really? Really? How are these rates meant to be? Holy mother of God. This is, this is not going very well. Okay, Draco Slayer. Another Draco Slayer. An origin. A Pancatrops. An Elita, Eris Rock Sunrise, and we got another Grand Chariot. Really? Actually, this one's actually pretty good. This feels really thick. Okay, come on. Come on, Booster Packs. One Prismatic Rare. That's all I'm asking for. Got a pot of riches and Angelia. No, no, poor favor. All right, we got a blasting Draco Slayer. Okay, getting pretty good. Packertrops, Skullmeister, offer. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, that little abyss, the ogre overlord. All right, that's something. Oh wow, one of the poster guys as well. That's pretty nice. Are there even secret rares inside the set? I am ninety percent. I am ninety percent convinced that there is no secret rare inside the set. Everything has been turned into a rare or higher. Queen Charge, Megapolis, Draco Slayer, more Snake Rains, Reload, Reptile, and Noctanius. Why Konami? Why are you milking me for so much money? Okay, got ourselves a nice little trade-in. Feral Imps. Musica. Got ourselves an Antenna. Got ourselves a Viper's Rebirt. A Boundless and an Elegance. Now. Oh my god. The Elegance is starting to kill me. Okay. Mighty Draco Slayer. 
Snake Deity, a Light Serpent, Pot of Riches, a Trade In, Flogo, the Upper Boundus, and Acutia, another one. That's another eight years in jail. Come on, guys. We can do this. I just want the conductor. That's all I want. One conductor. Okay, a Rebirth. A Mighty, a Megabilis, another Draco Slayer, Ascending Draco Slayer, Rise of the Snake Deity, and a Departure. Come on. Offering to the Snake Deity. We got ourselves a Ogdoctil Hollow, Poisonous Avage, an Origin, a Reload, Blasting Draco Slayer. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. And... Oh, fuck off. Honestly. Take my passport, and here's 100 bucks. Go somewhere with COVID, because my luck needs to die. A Meester. Snake Rise. That's not to say anyone who is currently suffering from COVID. I am not trying to make uh, fun of you. I hope you guys all have a speedy recovery. <sighs> what the freaking piece of... Wow, I love this. This is my only copy of this that I love. You know, I, I've never I've never seen this card before in my life. Never ever seen any of this in my life. Actually, I'm not gonna lie. I'm I'm, I'm probably gonna make a deck out of Grand Chariot simply because now we have three a fucking place out of them. Oh Jesus Christ. We got an Abyss Rock Sunrise. A formal. Pendulum Dracus Slayer. Come on, I'm calling. Pot of Riches. Megatanius. Oh my god, Angelia. How dare you? Okay, we're getting closer and closer to the end. Transanity has reached new peaks of low. Or dips. Is that dips when it goes really low? Or the new dip? Who knows? Poisonous Snakes. Hollow. Dreamia. And... Schleider. Schleider. What's going on here? We have five packs left. Maybe there is no secret rare in this. It's gonna be one of those sets, isn't it? Wavering Eyes. An Origin. A Reptile. A Boundless. A Formal. A Snake Deity, and... Ogdactia Remnant. Okay. I can, I can go with that. We can do this. Alright. Ourselves a nice Pot of Riches. A Paladin, a Light Serpent, Pancatrops, Quint Charge, Offering the Snake Deity, and... Oh, wow. Oh, wow, is right. This is, uh, okay. Fantastic. Best booster box I've ever opened, guys. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna open up, like, maybe 10, 50 more of these, just because I love the feel of them. Got a Calling, a Blasting Draco Slayer. A Snake Rain, Origin, and a Milk Polar. That's three booster packs, I'm not worried. Why would I be worried? When life is just treating me so well. Okay, Evil Dragon Antenna, a Traden, Sulfur Scale, Megatanius, Aya's Rock Sunrise, King of the Feral Imps, and an Arcutia for our full playset of tree. Oh wow, I, I love this so much. Two booster boxes, and I've already gotten most of the rares that I need. And the super rares. Ultra rares? Ah, I actually managed to do the impossible and get a freaking playset of a... Uh, a freaking Grand Chariot, my favorite card in this entire set. So, Wavering Eyes. A Boundless. Another Flogos. And an Ogdoctiate Light. Oh dear. Last booster packs. Team Tabletop. <laughs> Let's do this. Pancatrops, Elita, Wavering Eyes, got ourselves a Mighty Draco Slayer, another Draco Slayer, Poisonous Snakes, and we end it off with an Altergate, the Algorith Dark. Oh wow, that's amazing. You guys want to see all my pulls? We got one Grand Chariot. We got a Octaga Overlord. Oh, it looks like we got a second one. I didn't know that. Oh, three. How beautiful. Three Grand Chariots. We've got a Butia, Ursula Polary, 
and we've gotten six. So it's around tree ultras pair box. And would you believe it? You're guaranteed to get freaking uh, tree grand chariots. Amazing. Absolutely madman. Oh, wow. These are some of the best pulls I've ever seen in my entire <laughs> freaking life. Uh, but no, it was really fun opening up these things. It's really nice getting to have it a little bit early so I can share it with you guys back at home, Team Tabletop. I know it's been a very rough pandemic, but things are getting better. And I'm very happy that things are getting a little bit more back to normal where we can get like the products a little bit early again so we can share with everyone at home. And you guys enjoyed the video, please be sure to give it a big like. If you guys are new to the channel, please be sure to hit that subscribe button because we'll be doing four unboxings. And if this video is anything to tell you guys, I'm constantly improving the setup. I'm constantly improving our equipment so that I can provide amazing quality to all you guys back home. And I hope it really shows. But yeah, I hope you guys are doing well. And until next time, everyone, thanks for watching.